all of you hope you guys are great so this is the very first video of our playlist on open source contribution so i have gave you the complete overview that what are the topics we're going to cover and how we're going to navigate into this entire playlist so if you haven't watched the introduction video make sure to follow that you will have a complete idea that's how you're going to navigate and what are the topics we're going to cover it and what are the project we're going to simply include into that I'll link that video in the i button in the description so you guys can follow that. With that said, let's start in this particular playlist and in this video, we're going to cover this particular topic. Why contribute to open source? We'll try to understand the benefit and what are the skills we need to require and how we can start to find the benefit of contribution into the open source. So contributing to open source project will have a multiple benefit for you as a developer. The first one we have in the list is that when you plan to contribute on any open source project, the first thing you have to do is that improve software you rely on. So whatever software you use in your regular development, so I'm a blockchain developer and I use Ether package extensively, Web3 package extensively, and I Solidity extensively, and I use Web3.js, and I use Next.js, React.js for building my entire application. So you are using these tools regularly so you can easily able to understand if you find any bug so first you have to start with the tools which you are using once you start with that you can able to find out that okay there is a problem or i can simply contribute a specific function which can add a specific feature in the package which other developer can get the benefit you can easily able to build one for example right now we have to light a huge amount of code if you want to get the address of a user from the metamars you can simply add a feature which can simply give them a button or they can simply call that component and they will have the connection with the metamask so you can add these features so first thing you have to focus on the software which you are working and which you are using regularly so that's the first thing and the second thing we have in the list is that improve existing still so no matter when you are working on these packages so you can contribute as a coder you can write some functions you can add some feature into the package or you can work as a user interface design you can work as a graphic design, you can work as a writer, you can work as an organizer. You can do a hell lot of things. And when you will do all of the things, it will give you an idea that how actually work happens when it's come to working in the open source and you can able to polish your skills. Because these are the different components we have in the open source. If you build a better architecture which can serve the user in a best possible manner, then that's a really good contribution and you will master that how you can build the architecture of any software. So it will improve your skills. In the third, we have that you will meet who are interested in similar thing. And that's the best part. So if I'm working on EtherJS package, if I'm trying to build a certain functionality into that particular library, I will try to meet and collaborate with all the developers who have contributed into that package. So when I'm contributing and adding some sort of feature is going to get into all those contributors and they can easily able to verify. So that's how I will build connection with the developer with a similar interest. So that's the benefit you will have. You can able to find the similar interest peoples. The fourth thing we have is that when you will contribute and when you will add any function, when you will give any suggestion, when you will build any, some sort of feature into that, you're going to find other users. You're going to find other developers on the same project. So that's how you can able to get mentor because having a mentor right now is one of the important things for you as a developer. Having a right guidance to start your career into the field of development is one of the most important thing. So when you will work on this library, when you will work on this similar interest, you will have other developers. So you can take them as your mentor and they will guide you. Once you're done with that, after that, try to build a project around those technology which you use and build a public artifact. Means don't try to keep your a project which you upload together as a private try to build it and make it public and make it other so they can contribute or they can simply use your source code or the function you have included in that way what will happen that you will gain reputation so whenever someone is looking for a specific function or a specific feature they can simply come back to your repository and get up and they can get the code and they can add it into an application that's how you can gain reputation so make your make your project public and create an artifact once you're done with that after that you have to focus on learn people skills what do i mean by learn people skills like, like open source offer opportunities to practice leadership and management skills such as resolving conflict organizing team of people and patronizing work so when you will work in any project when you will going to pitch your idea about a specific feature in the library in the community 
you will have a authority you're going to resolve a particular problem and you will show your management skills that you can identify the problem you can resolve it and you can manage the entire work so that's how you can gain the skill of people skills which is really very important after that after that the last point i have in the list is that empowering to be make change even if small so sometimes what i have noticed that many of you developer try to add try to fix something very big in the open source project don't try to look for big if you find a minor problem maybe a spelling mistake just try to fix that just try to contribute that don't try to look for something big something impressive which you can add in your portfolio that will come gradually when you will work on the project so try to add even a minor fix you can do for example i have found a library where i can see that the spelling of the change is wrong like cha it's uh, you can add a full spelling so this is the wrong you have found so you can simply able to contribute that you can pitch your idea you can suggest the community that this is the spelling which is the error i can want to contribute that so that's will give you the contribution don't try to look for something big so these are the important things which you have to keep in mind before you start contributing that why contribute to open source project what are the benefits you will get and how you get the recognitions and the project ideas and focus on the project which you use very frequently so with that i'm ending this video in the next video we'll talk about the other topic which we have to cover in open source so let's move to that